Hey there, everybody. It's Cornelius again. We're picking up where we left off in Battle Brothers. Uh, we just killed Hogart the Weasel, and that's pretty much where we stand right about now. So unpause it here and let this little thing tick. After the battle, Hogart lies dead in a pool of his own blood, skewered into a grotesque and panicked pose. He didn't weasel his way out of this one. Put a boot on his corpse and look to your men. For the company, for all the men who've fallen. Sigmar the Younger spits on the dead man's face. Let's take this bastard's head and get on back to Seedorf. It's not a cheerful mood that the men are in, but it's a content one, like a blue horizon glowing before a furiously rising sun. The deed is done, and the company avenged. In this world, that's about as much closure as one can hope for. Time to get paid. Alright, we'll head on back to Seedorf. We'll see what uh, new things we have. Got some better armor. So we're going to want to... Pretty much we're going to want to try to get this guy as armored as possible since he's going to be without a shield. So he's more likely to get hurt. And then we'll pretty much we'll just bump up the uh, bump the armor up along and down the line. Resolve, he is craven. Did we lose? Oh, we lost the... We lost the headhunter guy. The uh, killer on the run. Well, that's unfortunate, but alright, I guess. Do that. Shields, everyone still has a shield, yep. Alright, that'll work for that. So yeah. We're gonna go back here Ooh, along the way. You lead the way back to Seedorf as Sigmar the Younger picks up pace to catch up with you. Got a moment, Cap'n? You nod for him to speak his mind. The battle has left armor and shields battered, and the men have sustained some wounds. Perhaps we should make camp so we can get everything in order and put new bandages on. We'll be a lot quicker if we don't have to do it on the road. Every man maintains what equipment they carry, but you'll have to say if we should repair some of the plunder as well. Need to have the tools for that, of course. Just keep in mind that the camp's fire will be seen from afar, especially come nighttime. I'll keep it in mind. So that's, it's basically just telling you that uh, you can set up camp with the tea. It'll pass time. It'll make, uh, make the men heal quicker and repair quicker. So instead of taking seven hours, well, it might still take seven hours, but at least the time will go by faster. Then otherwise, Seedorf Militia. I've got them riled up. The return to Seedorf. The company returns to Seedorf as victors, their heads held much higher than the last time they visited. The Konistans are not the size that they once were, but it's still a force to be reckoned with, as Hogarth the Weasel learned too late. You carry his head in a sack that you empty in front of Kittlemoon the Counselor's feet. As it rolls towards him, he takes a step back, momentarily startled, only to approach again with curiosity. So it really is him. Yes, yes, I'm rid of him. Kittlemoon the Counselor rubs his hands, his face turned into a grimace of cold satisfaction. Not speaking a word, his eyes glued to the weasel's frozen, slack-jawed gaze, he claps his hands for the servants to fetch the crowns and pay you as promised. You raise your voice to the men. As long as there is blood coursing through our veins, as long as we can hold sword and shield in hand, there shall stand the Conestans. We've done it before and we'll do it again. We'll make the company known throughout the land. The men cheer, Kisahiro the Blade puts his hand on your shoulder. You did well, Captain. Whether we travel from one village to the next and look for work, or head out to explore and plunder on our own, the men will follow you as brothers in battle. As brothers. Alright, so, since we lost one of the guys... Well, first off, we picked up... Yeah, there it is. Picked up, uh, some trade goods. Salt. Uh... Eh, yeah, We'll probably... Well, we'll sell this, because we don't need it. We'll sell that because we most likely won't need it. We got enough food to last us five days. We'll pick up some more. Do we need more ammo? We need more tools, definitely. Let's see if we can find tools cheaper than that, though. So we'll pick up some ammo. We'll pick up some... No, we can't really pick up more medicine. The medicine we have is good enough. Ammo. Uh, we'll buy some more food just in case and we'll leave. And this place doesn't have any contracts. Usually you'll see the contracts up in the top left corner there. Um, let's pause it for a second. So yeah, we'll probably head to Magdeburg. Because that's probably where we'll find a contract to go with. Also, we'll hopefully find some men to hire and whatnot. Because as it is, do we have anything we want to repair? We have that. No. Basically we have enough to slightly outfit some guy if we find another. So let's see what's in Madderburg. No contracts in Madderburg. 
Okay, well, are there any men to hire? No, not really. It still hasn't refreshed that. Don't want to pick up... Mm, amber, yeah, salt. It's actually cheaper here. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, sell that, sell that. Don't need either. We'll keep the hatchet. And then... Do we want to hire? Do we want to buy another one of these? Another dog? We'll hold off for now. I think I'd rather get another guy before I get another dog. So we'll head down to Luton Dock then. And we'll see if we can find a contract in Luton Dock. Otherwise, we might have to try to head out to a further village and see if we can find a contract or something to do. Because as it is, our money will not last for very long. Eight days, it's a decent amount of time, but we also have to make sure our supplies stay good and I'd really like to buy some more tools and supplies. Alright, so there is a contract here. Again, there's only... Peddler, Fisherman, Fisherman. Uh, we'll see what the contract is. Negotiations. Winrich of Lutendox crosses his arms and purses his lips. Ordinarily, I wouldn't ask some sellswords to guard a caravan, but my usual crew is a little out of it. Sickness, drunkness, licentiousness, I think you get it. What's important is that I have important cargo to get to Gerheim, and I need someone watching it. Are you interested? How many crowns are we talking about? Puts his hands on your shoulders, smiling reaffirmingly. I think I know an adequate compensation for your services. You are to receive 150 crowns in advance, another 580 when the job's done. Now, from when I've played it, it seems like you can pretty much you can try to push it about three times. And then, if you try to push it again, you lose the contract. So, usually I'm going to... I want more on completion. No? Okay. One more time we'll try it. I want more on completion. Apparently not. Okay. I don't want to push it one more time, so I'm just going to say, sure, I accept your offer. And I'll need some time to think about it. Gerheim in the north. Where is Gerheim? How far away is it? Gerheim is... Gerheim in the north. Jeez, ow. Okay, well... I'm probably going to need more than... I don't know if that's a good one to take. I'm not sure if, uh... Yeah, spoil in eight days. I'm not sure if we would successfully complete that one. But you know what? It's early. If we lose it, I suppose we'll lose it. It's two skulls. <clears throat> okay, give me a second. We're gonna hire... Seven days, we'll get a hundred and something. Okay, we're gonna hire Ulf. Yeah, we're gonna. <sighs> no, we're gonna hire. No, no, no. We're gonna hire Ulf. Hopefully, he's not too bad. He's brave, so that's good. Alright, he's already got a cat. Doesn't have very good, uh. Doesn't have very good armor. Is there anything cheap we can buy? Not really. 81? I don't know if we'll have enough money to make it. Two days? We get 150 in... Okay, we'll sell that. We'll sell that. I really want to keep that and that. Oh, well we can sell that. There we go. Okay. And then, it's not the best, but we'll buy a thick tunic, I guess. Throw a thick tunic on him. Yeah, it's a little bit better than the sackcloth he was running with. Alright, and yeah, we'll... We'll try it. I accept the contract. Okay, so when we leave, pretty much you're forced to tag along with the trading caravan then. A few caravan hands, a caravan guard, and a caravan cart. So hopefully, with these guys and us, it'll be enough people to scare off most of the, uh... Most of the bands or anything. But however, it's gonna be. I, don't know, I was wondering if you could speed up the time at all. It's gonna be a pretty slow. pretty slow trip. Because we have to go all the way up north. What I'm wondering is if we're going to get attacked at all by bandits or. hopefully not goblins or orcs, because we would not do well against either of them. Pretty sure goblins would just absolutely destroy us, and orcs would probably pretty handily kill us. 
along the road. You spot a man, a strange man hobbling along the road. He's dressed in a long cloak and he's got a knapsack yoked over one of his shoulders. His eyes stare at the ground until they come to your feet, at which point he finally looks up. Seeing your company, the man is surprisingly unalarmed. In fact, he's quite receptive of your presence and asks if maybe he could spend the night with Sellswords before continuing his journey to Tonderwold. Now, I always say join us. I don't think... I've never had anything bad happen, but I suppose there might be. But, yeah, join us on the campfire for tonight. Sit without a fi You sit about a fire. Much talk is made about this or that, but the traveler does speak some words which reside within your mind long after he's gone. Ever seen a green skin cleave a horse's head off? Quite the sight, but I've also seen a horse kicked in, kick an orc's teeth out and bury him in mud with, a, with stomping madness. We forget, I think, that the horse is more akin to a fancy, a war, than we are. Frightful, curious animals, sure, but violent. They say left to themselves they oft kill one another, kill each other's children and their children's children. It's a damn thing that women love us both. That's weird. May you find peace on the roads, traveler. I wouldn't think there's any truth to that, but maybe? I don't know. So yeah, this uh, this went pretty well. Didn't get attacked. We're gonna make... Gonna make what? Decent amount of money. At Gerheim. You've made it, having delivered the caravan just as you promised Winrich of Lutendock you would. The caravan leader thanks you with the payment of crowns. He seems rather thankful for the fact that he's alive, briefly regaling you with a tale of when he barely escaped an ambush by bandits. You nod as if you give two shits about what's happened to this man. Crowns well deserved. <laughs> Alrighty. Miner. Brawler. Yeah, I mean... Maybe a brawler. Just for the higher melee skill, higher max fatigue, higher bravery. The militia would be nice, but we probably don't have the ability. 300 and they buy... Sell them for 312 and we could buy them for 300. If we did that, though, we'd be tapped out and we'd have to sell them pretty darn quick. Let's see what this is. Cow shaded man hisses at you, his teeth and nose winking momentarily from the dark of his hood. You've no time for lepers or jokers, and demand the man to get out of your way. Instead, he starts talking. My master requires your services. He's heard of your exploits. Follow me and I shall take you to him. You rest your hands on the handle of your sword and nod. I'm all ears. Radulf of Gurheim's study is lit by a warm fire. He offers you a set He offers you a set and a goblet of wine, both of which you take. A set? A sit? Hmm. Sellsword, you're familiar with how dangerous the roads are these days. By the gods, that is some good wine. You nod and try to hide your astonishment. Radulf of Gurheim smiles tersely and continues. Good, then you'll understand the task I have for you. I need a caravan escorted along the roads. Pretty simple, right? Do you have the time for it? Let's talk if you do. Alright, well, I know we just did it, but we're pretty much up in... Out in Timbuktu, nowhere. So let's talk money. Thank you, blah, blah, blah. 110 crowns and 440 when the job's done. Alright. 90 crowns, 510. No. Alright. Uh, sure. To Grunberg. I'll need some time. I don't know, if it's a far one, where's Grunberg? Is Grunberg all the way down south? All the way down south again. <sighs> no, you know what? I mean, it'd be good money. But we don't have... Mm, it'd be good money, but I, I don't really want to do it again. Um, We'll buy a thick tunic. We'll buy a shield. If we can, we'll buy... Yes. Okay. And then... Let's try it. Buy two of them? It'll pay us for two days. How much, wait, how much are we using a day? 64 a day. So if I bought that guy, I wouldn't be able to... <sighs> Alright, let's do it. Let's sell that. We'll leave that. Close that down. We'll buy the... Oh, it's 110. Alright. Oh, and plus it'd go up by 8. Mm, do we have enough that we could sell that it would be worth it? Probably not. No. Okay. So we'll do that. We'll travel to the next nearest village. We're just going to ignore that contract. I don't want to escort a thing all the way down south again. Since we more or less just got here. So we're going to head up this way. All of this is in good repair? Yes. Oh. <laughs> The red here means that, yeah, it's about to spoil, so we're going to be relying on those two. Which, use 16 provisions in a day. 
So we'll be fine. Alright, let's see. 62. 62. Alright, well, kind of figured something along those lines. Well, what's this here, then? Servant bids you to wait for Jalmer of Norheim, who he says will be right with you. And so you wait, and wait, and wait. Finally, as you're about to leave for the second time, Jalmar of Norheim throws open the doors and rushes towards you. Who's this again? A mercenary? His assistant nods, his assistant nods and Jalmar of Norheim sets on a smile. Oh, most fortuitous that you have to have you in Norheim, good captain. It's imperative that some precious commodities of mine reach Holstrag as safely and quickly as possible. You're precisely who I need, for no common bandit would dare attack you and your men. Yes, I'd like to hire you for escort. Make sure the items are delivered to Bernhard the Younger. No detours, of course. Can we come to an understanding? How many crowns? 340. I'm going to have to say I want more in advance. And more in advance. Okay, sure. To Holschlag. Give me some time to think about it. Holschlag. Holschlag. Alright, I mean... Sure, we'll do this one. Hopefully it's not... Because we need... Hopefully it's not a caravan escort, but it might be. It's not. Okay. So this is one where we're just going to move on down there. And basically it's going to try to pathfind us the quickest way, which apparently it's going to just cut straight through all this. And hopefully we will not get ambushed. Because I know every once in a while when I've done this one, I've been... Basically I've been uh, waylaid by a hedge knight and some guys, some bandits. And that's never a good fight because the hedge knights are basically just really, really good armor and skills. And at least at the time, I was not ready and I was destroyed. So hopefully this... Like I said, it's it's not going to be the most exciting trip. I'll probably cut this out. <laughs> Another trading caravan. We'll see. We'll get here. Looks like pretty much uneventfully. Had enough money where we, if we hadn't have asked for it, we probably would have gone bankrupt. At Holschlag, Bernhard the Younger is waiting for you as you enter the town. He hurriedly takes the cargo off your hands. Oh, oh, I did not think you would get here. His grubby fingers dance along the chest carrying the cargo. He turns around and barks an order to one of his men. They step forward and hand you a satchel of crowns. Crowns well deserved. <laughs> Alright, how much is this stuff selling for? 330. 330. I really don't want to. I really do not want to. Pay. Halstein, the trade master in Wessendot. More on completion, more on completion. Fine. Probably not going to do this one either. Wessendot? Where's Wessendot? Wessendot. I've got no idea where Weston Dot is. I'm, oh, there it is. Weston Dot. Yeah, probably not going to do that one. It's a bit too far. A bit too boring? Uh, the question is, I have enough money. Now I have enough money to last. Let's head down to Gel Gelbstadt. Let's hope they don't have any trappers. Doesn't look like it, so that's good. So hopefully the furs will trade for well, trade for a good amount of money. And then we will try to pick up another contract there. Along the way, while the company takes a short rest, you sit down and examine the cauterized arrow wound. It's tender, but your mobility is slowly returning. Gisahar of the Blade joins you, seizing this opportunity to talk to his captain. So the way I see it, nobody knows about the Konastans yet. We don't want to hunt ragtag bands of bandits through the woods forever. We'll have to make a name for ourselves first as reliable swords for hire that can get things done before the noble houses take notice. The one to use the company for far better paying tasks, I'm sure. He adjusts his weapon belt and continues. Just keep, just we keep in mind that the High Lords are playing a dangerous game and we don't want to get on their bad side. There's enough stories of people who cross them only to end up quartered and fed to the pigs and they have the means to squish even a company of sellswords. He pauses a short moment and then adds another thought. The guildmasters and councilmen running the villages and towns too have a good memory. We depend on them to hire the company for now, but having some influential friends may also help us get better deals with merchants. Ah. Okay. I don't think I ever noticed that before, that uh, 
Supposedly, if you get good. Yeah. Alright, well, let's camp out till dusk. Or, not dusk. Camp out till dawn. Alright, let's see. Hopefully, the 390. There we go. That's quite a bit better. Quite a bit better. Alright. Then let's see what men we can hire. Apprentices, boyers, beggars, apprentices. Rat catcher. Huh. Poachers, vagabonds, boyers, and rhino. Rhinos. No, and apprentices again. Um. Higher initiative. I don't really care about initiative. Really don't want a beggar. Don't really want a boyer or an apprentice. I mean, there's just. There's not a whole wide range of good people to hire, it looks like. Good seeing you. No, idiot. Hold the... Oh, the... As you enter the Sigurd the Younger's room, he and one of his servants are nailing a box shut. Good seeing you, sellsword. One moment, please. No, idiot. Hold the nail that way. I know I hit your thumb before, but I won't do it again. The servant reluctantly holds up a nail by the man... His servant reluctantly holds a nail up by the man hammers at home. While the man hammers at home. Finished, he wipes the sweat off his brow and looks to you. I need this here crate delivered to Seedorf. It's going to Ever the Burgomeister. You know him. You know him. All right, maybe you don't know him. What do I? What I do know is that you may, is that this may not ordinarily be your line of work, but I'm willing to pay some serious crowns for you to see it through. That's your real business, right? Earn some crowns. Let's talk money. More, more. Sure. Seedorf. I don't want. I don't want Seedorf or Hoshkrub. Seedorf or Hosh. Eh, maybe we'll do Hoshkrub because I'm gonna have to head that way anyways. Uh, no, we'll do Seedorf, because I want to head back to the area that we're familiar with. Sure, Seedorf. Yes, I accept the contract, why not? Alright, let's head back down to Seedorf. I'm just, I'm trying to find some guys that hopefully we can hire that'll be decent. I mean, I could have spent the money and hired a boyer, but I don't, mm, I don't necessarily like using a lot of range units. I mean, maybe maybe we'll get orc hunters. Dwarves? No. Some orc young and an orc berserker. Yeah, as you say, they would... Ooh, okay. Yeah, let's, uh... Oh, come on. Aren't you gonna... We might be able to third-party this? Alright, let's go. <laughs> oh! You killed them so quick! You killed them so quick! I was like right there! Man... We could have tried to third party that. <laughs> Man, they wiped them out so quick. Alright, well... Let's go here. Welcomes you, take it your journey. Welcomes you, and a few of his men hurry over to take the cargo. He claps you on the shoulders. Take it, your journey went well. You spare him the details and inquire about your pay. Bah! Sail sword through and through. Espen, get this man what he deserves. One of expert, one of Eberich, the Burgomeister's bodyguards, walks over and hands you a small chest of crowns. Alright. Men? Still not really. Alright. Amber? Okay. We'll buy the amber because we know we can sell it for a decent amount up there. Alright, well, I'm back. Um. Yeah, let's buy. It. No, because I wanted to buy him cheaper. Uh, shield? No. None of that, really. Alright, what's he want? Got a map of a cemetery on his desk. Half the plot squares appear to have been filled in with ink. Every square you see there has been robbed. Every night they come, and every night I can't quite seem to catch them. I'm at my wits' end here, and so I've decided to end this once and for all. I want you to go to that graveyard and kill every great robbing fool you see. Got it? Well, this is going to be more along my lines. Uh, 430 crowns when the contract is done. I want more on completion, more on completion. Fine, I accept your offer. Yes, look here are the sunken tombstones. Sunken tombstones are over there. We're going to head up to Magdeburg first, though. And I might... I'm going to head up to Magdeburg. I'm going to sell off the amber. And then I'm possibly going to just cut to the sunken tombstones. Oh, we need to buy some more food, too. 
So yeah, probably a decent amount of editing I'm gonna have to do on this episode just because there's a lot of dead space. So that's somewhat unfortunate. <sighs> Son of a gun. Alright, camp till dawn. Okay, Magdeburg. 292 we bought for 249 Let's sell it. Okay. Not one I meant to click on. Men. Get. <laughs> Alright, you know what? We'll hire a farm here. Hopefully he's got some good skills. No, he is clumsy. And he has a death wish. Well, that is very unfortunate. But we're gonna deck him out anyways. Um, gonna need to buy supplies. See, so yeah, we'll buy some more roots and berries. We will... Hmm. Roots and berries. We're gonna need to buy supplies. Like, actual repairing supplies. So we'll buy that. Um... <laughs> Do we buy some more armor? Probably would be a good idea. Yeah. So we'll buy that. We'll buy that and that. Deck our men out better. Who do we want? Basically, who do we want to live most? I guess we will have... Give this... Oh, wait, no. We'll do it by 91, 78, 89, 82, 107. <sighs> so clumsy. Okay, we'll do that. And we will do this. Okay. And then we'll do this. Alright. Now... The rest of that is all the same. Hmm. You know what? We'll bump them up a little bit. It's not going to be much, but it's it'll be a little bit. All right. Go there. We're going to organize again. We're going to sell that, and that, and that, and that. We're going to buy some grain as well. All right. And we're going to buy a dog. Grant the war dog. Who do we want? Finch? Finch? <laughs> Brant? Teal? Hide? Or Jaws? Jaws the war dog. Sounds good. And we're going to give it to the hound master again. Yep. Give him to the hound master. Alright. And now I'm going to head over to the sunken tombstones and I'll cut to them. Alright, well, our guy decided to cross the mountains to get there quicker. So we're going to go ahead and attack. Hopefully, tombstones fall over as a group of ghouls clamber over them. They appear to have been having something of a feast, a few of them still gnawing on this arm or that leg, presumably the limbs of your supposed grave robbers. To arms! Yeah. For a lot of these missions, when you attack into the bases, as part of a contract, usually it says you can't make out who you'll be facing. Um, hopefully it's not a whole lot of guys. Eight of them, so that's not too bad. I don't like that it always staggers you out, or seems to stagger you out quite a bit. We'll see. 22% chance. That is a horrible percent chance. Alright, well, we'll wait there. Probably move you up, actually. Wait there. You. I'll move you. I don't know where they'll be coming from. I'll move you up here just in case. You. Yeah, we can move you there. You, I'm gonna move here. We'll have you wait. I don't know why I'm waiting, I should just be ending the turn. Um, we'll move you around here. Yep, we'll move you up here just in case someone comes around this way. You, we'll have you move around here as well. Yep, end your turn. Yeah, end the turn, end the turn, end the turn. Alright, let's see where all these ghouls are. He's gonna move right up into us. Alright, still no sign. 24% chance. 
We'll try it, but I might shoot my guy in the back of the head. Nope. Alright, that's good. Okay, you, you're gonna wait. You, I don't know, man. I mean, I don't know if anyone's gonna come from up there or not. But we'll have you wait, or end your turn there. Have you end your turn. You, you're gonna club him in the head. You're gonna club him in the head. Okay. You'll wait. You'll wait. I'll wait. You'll be ending your turn. Generally, I don't want to get swarmed. So I'm waiting to see where most of them are coming from. Okay, and then I can adjust from there. So that seems like the vast majority are coming from this direction. So I'm probably going to move them up this way. Yeah, I'll do that. And there's the other guy. I'm going to put him on a spear wall. End his turn. This guy... Probably gonna try to move you. Move you here. Won't be able to do a spear wall, unfortunately. But he'll be able to do it. Nope, he won't. Okay. Him. I'll leave him there for now. And this guy. 42% chance to take the shot. Okay. And this guy. Gonna move here. Again, he won't be able to do that. And we'll. end it like there. Oh, man, he's completely out of range. Uh, we'll move him here for now. Might be able to cut through depending on where all they swarm around. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, see, one of them went that way. Two of them went that way. That's not good. Three of them, four of them. So they really are. They're going to avoid... Going to avoid... Uh, the spear wall, which makes sense. Put him there. Move him back one. Can he make that move? Okay, yeah, we'll do that. End his turn there. End his turn. I guess we're moving him back over this way. And this guy. Move up here. The spear wall. End it. This guy will move here, we'll spear wall. This guy. We'll take the 30% chances. Oh, come on. And him. We'll move here. Yeah, we're not going to spear wall him. Him. We're going to make him spear wall again, because if they're going that way, I want them to keep going that way. Yep, stab him. Stab him. Ooh, stab him. Stab him, okay. Yep, and eventually he was gonna miss. Okay. Well, this guy, we're gonna have him wait till the end of the turn. Him, you're gonna try to club this guy in the head. And it's not a lot of damage. Alright, this guy, you're gonna move up one. You're gonna see if you can chop him off. Yes. Chop his head off, that's good. <laughs> Go in here. I mean, if you move again, you won't be able to attack. So we'll put you on a spear wall there. You. Yeah, we'll move you up one. We'll see if we can kill that guy. End your turn there. This guy, 44% chance, 26, 13, 22. We'll go for the 44% chance. Sweet. And this guy. We can move two spots, and then we can spear wall. And this guy, two spots, and spear wall. And this guy, we're gonna try to really 64%, 61% chance in the nest. Okay, that's good. Now him, I don't know, man. I mean, he's the craven guy. We'll move him up over here. There's the last one. Oh, you missed it already. Yep, and he ate the body. That gives him some kind of bonus. I'm not 100% sure what it is. Really? Oh, because you moved two. Hmm, that was a bad choice on my part. Alright, well, we'll have you wait then. Yeah, you can move up. You can try to stab him once. 47. Or do I want to bump him? No. I want to stab him. 
47% chance. And can we kill him? No, not quite. Not quite. 24, 25. We'll do this and hope maybe he hits the guy in front? No. Nothing. Nothing of the sort. Alright, let's stab him. Excuse me. Well, this is just unfortunate. We'll have him wait. We'll see. I mean, he can move two, and if he moves one more, it'll split up aggro, I guess. Okay. Can we kill that guy? Very good. Now, kill that guy? Even better. Now, you, your turn's just gonna end. You, you can move here. You won't be able to do that then. So you can move here. And then. Spear wall? I guess? I don't think. Ooh, what? Why are you going that way? I don't know why you're going that way. But, he's in the woods right there. The, uh, shrubs or whatever you want to call them, pretty much it just says that if they move there, then, uh, you can't see them from far away. So go here. I'll wait your turn. I can't shoot at him because we supposedly don't see him. Move here, and then we can see him. We'll stab him once. You're not going to be able to make it there. We'll see about it, though. Yeah, I didn't think so. You... Nope, you won't be able to make it there. Might be able to get somewhere around that ways. You, you'll get there, but you won't be able to do anything. And then you... With an 11% chance, no, I'm not going to take it. Yep, not going to be able to do anything. That's fine. Ghoul's going to attack. Hit the armor, which is more than fine. Can't do anything there. Probably should have known better. He's not going to be able to do anything. He's not going to be able to do anything. He's not going to do anything. He'll kill it? Very good. Alright, well that's... Finally, someone leveled up. Two people, three people, very good. I was surprised that they hadn't leveled up before. Ghoul teeth, some money, and the signet ring. Alright, we'll take it all. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't level up before from the uh, first match, but this is our first level up of the game. Alright, well, I'm going to end it there, and we'll level them up next time, head on back and collect all the crowns. See you guys later. If you liked it, make sure to hit the like button, leave a comment, and all that good stuff. Alright, bye.